Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Anytime you have food stored for any amount of time, you risk pantry bugs and infestations from little critters that we don't want to find in our food. There are several remedies that you can do to prevent them and the ways that you can battle them if you find them. Number one, keep your pantry and your kitchen as clean as possible. Then you want to wipe up any spills immediately Clean and organize your pantry a few times a year and you might want to vacuum out your shelves. I like to wipe down the shelves with a solution of white vinegar. I put half vinegar, half water. You can put it into a spray bottle, spray it around, and then allow it to dry on its own. And don't worry, your cabinet is not going to continue to smell like vinegars or pickles. The scent dissipates, but the sanitation remains. You can do the same thing with lemon juice. You can mix up some lemon juice and water, spray it around. That can also help sanitize and eliminate any pests that you find. If ants are a problem, you can sprinkle some cinnamon. Sprinkle it around doorways, windowsills, any place that you see ants coming in, any place that you see them making an ant trail, you can sprinkle the little cinnamon. And if you sprinkle it around the outside, then it'll help keep the ants from coming inside. Another natural way to eliminate pantry bugs is with bay leaves. However, your bay leaves need to be fresh. If you've got an old package from grandma's kitchen that's maybe from the 1980s, these probably are not going to be fresh. How do you know if your bay leaves are fresh? Well, you can crush them up and smell them or you can drop one into some boiling water and the aroma should be evident. Pests don't like the aroma of bay leaves, so you can add them into your stored dry foods like your rice, beans, oatmeal, all those kind of dry foods that we have that we store for a long period of time. But it's still a good idea to freeze those items when you bring them home to make sure that there aren't any pests already in there. If you think you have some bugs that have infested some of your packaged goods, pour it out onto a cookie sheet so you can smooth it out and then take a nice long look. You can even use a flashlight and see if you see anything in there that doesn't look right. Finding a few bugs in your food doesn't mean your food is no longer safe or good to eat. It's just a reality of that's what is naturally occurring in your food. But it's not very palatable. It wouldn't hurt you if you ate a few of those but it's not something that we want to do. Most of us are not trying to get extra protein from critters in our food. So it's best to prevent them. When you bring home foods, store them in airtight containers. And that doesn't mean a cardboard box that it came in. It needs to be something like a glass jar or a plastic container with a tight fitting lid. Then you wanna store your food in a cool, dark, dry place. The better you store your food, the longer it will last and the less likely that you will have a problem with pantry bugs. So try a few of these suggestions and see if it helps you keep your food safer longer and avoid the headaches that we can find pantry bugs in our food or in our cupboard shelves. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.